the Ark Hammer. An interesting project to be sure, an experiment in mobile production and starfighter automation. Drone Tie is held in a massive facility that thinks it's a warship. It's poorly equipped for the kind of combat we find ourselves in. Looking at the list of experimental ties the Ark Hammer is testing is intriguing at best, insanity at worst. Such as the M4 bomb tie. It is just that. A flying tie packed with explosives. I must ask, why? A standard torpedo or a series of concussion missiles can do the same job just as well without tapping into our logistical chain for tie replacement parts. Tie replacements. Hmm. With the Black Sun attack on Fondor and now the attack on Thyfera, warship production has been slowed. But this isn't nearly as much of a concern as the lack of personnel in my region, to be frank. Troopers. To hold territory and complete objectives beyond annihilation, we need boots on the ground. I'm investing a large sum of credits to build a series of academies throughout this region. A new generation of warfighter that will be brought up with a unique curriculum. Loyalty, duty, a reasonable self-interest, and self-improvement through monetary gain. It's not exactly the Imperial way, but I believe this will allow for the greater level of latitude for my future officers than the strict and often cutthroat focus of promotion that standard Imperial doctrine relies on. We shall see. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shaq here, and welcome back to Empire at War Forces of Corruption, playing the fantastic mod. Oh, there it goes. Awakening of the Rebellion. If you've never played Empire at War, man, you're coming into this series super late. Next but command. also, you should go pick it up because there's a ton of mods and lots and lots of hours of fun. We're looking over the galaxy and there's everybody's favorite complete. place. Everybody gets so mad at me when I lose them all. Complete. Listen, putting your research, your research, your research installations on the edge of the galaxy where you can barely defend them is silly and I don't like doing it. So we, a lot of times we'll lose them all. Though, uh oh. Uh-oh, to show that map and it animating, we have to unpause, and it looks like the Black Sun have decided to finish the job at Thyfera. Last last episode, uh, yeah, Fondor has been lost, Thyfera is being attacked, and they managed to kick us out of there with the Brawler fleet. We did take out a couple of their uh, carriers, though, which is, yeah, they've only got one of their captor carriers at this point. What are they bringing in? 11 units of Rocketeers. Two sniper groups of B1s? No, IG-86s. I was gonna say, are there B1 snipers? I love the idea of B1 snipers. That would be really funny. It's just B1s, but they actually can hit something. <laughs> like, oh, you guys actually have like a targeting computer. And then we've got the, yeah, the Hulk infantry, and then those, ugh. But there's only one unit of them. The, the big old walker droids with the laser cannons, so. Now I've got a tier one. What's the map layout look like? Hmm, okay. All right, our defense capability is kind of questionable. I'll probably run out and try to grab this. I don't think we're gonna be able to hold this. That's a lot of rockets. Let's get it started. Also, 53 seconds until our space tech is done. Woohoo! I've really been enjoying this campaign. The playing as the Empire, not my favorite faction, but definitely a fun time. But the changes they've made to the mod, yeah, yeah. Okay, we got free units here too. What can I do? Hey, we got militia, let's go. Just start booking it back here. Let's start picking up all of our defensive turrets. We've got two in the corner back here that we know about from our intel. And we should have, yeah, two back here, which it looks like we didn't even need to move you up. It's a lot of farmland. Let's bring you back to the wall. Let's bring you guys up to the wall. We don't know what direction they're actually gonna come from. Uh, looks like we got some more plants there. Uh, it's gonna be mostly infantry, right? Yeah. Ready. Spread out. Yes, sir. Yeah, no, grab that. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. On your mark. How are you guys doing? Ready for let's grab this. We don't see any air. Ready. We've got another yeah. turret position here. Actually, we've got a proper, like, turret let's put a turret on that. We have 45,000 credits, so we're looking pretty good. Turret. Dig in, boys! And I will give you an anti-infantry turret. I don't know if that's actually gonna finish in time. More of our militia are done. Let's get you moving. Get down here quickly, get down here quickly. Uh, infantry, infantry, every unit of those 11 platoons that we can take out will feel real good. Uh, let's put a big ass turret on this. Let's spread y'all out. 
just a little bit more. Remember, they've got rockets, so they're probably going to have to move within range of our infantry to actually do anything to them. Uh, I'm relying. Which direction did you guys come from? Oh, you guys didn't move. You didn't. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You're good. You're good. Uh, Anti-infantry. Anti-infantry. Put you guys in the front just to buy us time. If one of you actually moved... Never mind. Don't have time. Don't have time. We've just gotten them on sensors. They are firing. They've already killed all of my infantry over here. Construction complete. <laughs> oh no, my poor militia. Construction See somebody? Complete. Hey, the turret's giving us a firing area. Now I could move up and reinforce that. Reporting in. Hmm. Attack copies. The question is, do I want to try it or do I want to stay back here where we've got a nice wall? The only problem is there's no guarantee they're going to come that direction because we do see them here. We see them capping this, which I'm not going to be able to counter that. I don't think. Are you just. Oh, you're the IG 88 snipers. No wonder we lost those squads almost instantly. Hmm. But. Need any assistance? You guys are firing at them. I mean, what if you hit? So we'll just let it go. Let it ride. Hello, Commander. Grab those turrets. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we can even get up there in time. What we can, yeah, we're never gonna get up there in time. And installations are gonna get wrecked because they have an absolute metric ton. Oh boy, oh boy. What direction are they gonna hit us from? I wanna deploy these tanks in a way that makes sense. Roger that. Go ahead and dig in. Form up. And spread out a little bit. I'm gonna move him up here with the, oh, he's just gonna die instantly. They have so many rocket troops. I want to put grenade launchers over there. How are we doing over here? We didn't manage to cap that. I think the snipers took out all of our infantry, and their rockets are going to instantly give our turrets. Ready to go. So it might come down to just the On infantry. Pod walkers sir. sit here. Yes, sir. Box walkers sir. sit there. Ready for On our I'm right. having you as like my QRF force. I'm just going to run you around wherever I find Let's you may be needed. Uh, you know what we could do, actually? We could do jamming. We could jam the missiles. Jam's missile guidance systems. Let's tr let's try it! I might probably should have put you a little bit closer. I hope you've got really good range. Oh no! They can come through the woods! Redeploy! We have to redeploy! Medics, get over here with the stormtroopers. You'll be able to get them to stay alive a little bit longer. Let's, um... Yeah, I'm gonna need everybody over here. This isn't gonna work because they're gonna just walk in. I will leave two squads just to kind of hold out. Hey, did you get more units? Get in the bunker so you don't get sniped. They've they've already taken out all the turrets over here. Didn't even notice that that was taken down. So no, they do have enemy units approaching on this side. The trick is they're going right through the woods. All right, all of you take cover. Actually, get into the bunker. We can delay them in the bunker. They won't be able to snipe us. Ah! Fall back. Podwalkers, fall back. I might need you to take out the bunker's dead. <laughs> bunker's dead. Stormtroopers, any survivors, everybody report back here. Uh, they're coming through the tree line. We got to make them pay for it. They've already taken our box walkers out. I think they outrange us, so we're going to have to actually attack. Not great for us, because they've got cover bonuses here. Probably bait them out of the trees and then engage. Bait them out of the trees. No, that's not good. This is why we needed the pod walkers. Now bring the pods in. Go a little wide way, because the droids are starting to come out of the tree line. All right, all of you, lock it in. Clear them out. They only have so many of those. We can do this. And let's keep the pod walkers inside the tree line. Incoming rockets. Don't have great line of sight either. Militia, dig in, dig in. Yes, the jamming is working. The jamming is totally working. Yeah, pods, get inside the wall. Get inside the shield. No, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Nice. All right. Now we're, we're all about suppression. Look at them just veer off. Oh man, I love it. This is the first opportunity we've had to really use this against a force that had enough 
well, rockets, you know, stuff to do so. Very, very cool. Stormtroopers with your suppression weapons. Just don't chase them out of the circle. Imperial regs with their grenade launchers. That means they're getting close if they pop in the grenade launcher off. All right, first wave has been defeated. We are probably going to lose this. Uh, do we do we have both of those tanks left or just the one? Just the one, uh, that sucks. Honestly, having the jammer around like more of these turrets would have been pretty nice. Yeah, hold up here. Let's see what they do. We got regs in the back. What are they, are they going after you? Let's go check out this building. I doubt it's capturable, but I, I want to see. Base is under I don't recognize this map. I'm wondering if this is one of the new ones. Good shooting, man. Base is under attack. Oh, they're hitting the turret. Yeah, they're hitting that. They've taken out the, the regs. The snipers are there. The snipers are going to be a problem. They're pushing in. Suppression teams are getting work done. Please kill that. Please kill those droids because they're actually gonna do damage to you. Oh, that one actually hit. So there must be like a chance to hit. Not capturable, huh? Not actually a thing we can use? No. Well, maybe we can make them pay for it. This isn't good. I need both ATPTs over here. Start using your suppression weapons. You're great against infantry, and while they are impressive, they are still just infantry. They're taking too many infantry out. Come on, come on, come on. Get the other box walker over here. Put some fire on these snipers for losing too many stormtroopers. They're gonna be the key. You two, fire him. Nice, snipers are down. I think they only have two squads. No, no, please no. Enemy bombardment, no. There's nothing I can do though. Oh, they're running! Quickly, please. Let's go before they bombard us. Yeah, you see nothing. We held them back. 11, we killed all 11 of the platoons. Heck yeah, let's roll. Uh, you deserve investment, for sure. You deserve a upgrade. upgrade under construction. And you're getting just that. And if that finishes, I will send you more. Now, what's a response fleet that we've got in the area? Not much. Let's turn on all the things we were attacked before we had a chance to do so. We've got a little corruption on the rim. We do have an officer for that, so let's send the officer over to deal with that right away. Let's go. Cleared for construction. Complete. Hmm. We would have a, a fleet free. I mean, we do have the Hosen Prime right here. This is what, the Biss Defense Fleet? It's got two Tectors in it. We did see that the Tectors got a lot of work done against those Brawlers last time we fought them. This time it'll be multiple Tectors. The only problem is where we're at, we'd have to get through Bestine, and Bestine is no joke. We don't want to just run into that area, unless we go the long way around. Ah, oh, but blowing through Bestine would make me really happy. Hey! Hey, probe droid. I got a job for you. I need intel. I need you to bam, 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 over here. Tell me what they've got. Tell me what they have. I saw some new uh, images of an in interest Star Wars uh, Space Engineers mod working on the CR-90 Corvette. Yep, yep, that one's coming along, and that one's planned for some PvE stuff. So, I will keep you guys informed on how that mod goes. A small battle group with APCs and light tanks. You need to join up with the actual invasion force. We were talking about, I wish I had more transports for the uh, the ground forces that we've got. Also, I wish we had more stormtroopers. That's in cooking right now. New options, New options are now available. I'd be lying if I said I remembered what we were researching. I want to say it was starfighters. Actually, I think we teched up to like light vehicles and starfighters. Who had my starfighter production? No, it wasn't. It was not that. And it wasn't the ground tech. So, it might still be Starfighters. Let's see. You've got Starfighter production over at Boreas, right? Uh, yeah, and I don't see anything particular interest. Hey, Quad Drive Yards! You make all the things. What are you making right now? What can you do? Anything cool? Anything interesting? What about in the way of just, uh, nope. 
Uh, nope, that's not it either. I thought I unlocked the Raider. I might have, and I might just be missing a space station on this planet. Um, I mean, I kind of love the idea of you just having everything. You are quad drive yards, after all. You're even missing the advanced shipyard. But Mora, what you got going on? No? Seiko Miner, maybe? Our other big production place was Bill Bringy. Lowers production time by 50% on the advanced fighter yard. Oh, but you've got the cruiser one. I actually don't remember. Let me know in the comments. What the heck did we just research? I'm probably staring right at it and don't remember what it is. But we need to keep fighting on the Hapes front line. I want to free that fleet up and I also want to know what our probe finds out. Because if we can just punch through Bestine, that'd feel really good. We go boom, Bestine, through Mechus, and then can like backdoor through here. Construction complete. Is there seriously still a civilian unit? Huh. Could also counter a Fondor build if we go that long way. That might be worth. What do we got for a mission? Bit a bit. Space defense. Build an Imperial mobile support station and you'll get a Carrick cruiser. Oh, goody. What we've always wanted. We can now finally give up this life of crime. Oh, hey, I did read your comments. We need to move Ben Asana uh, over to Ord Montel now that we've conquered it. And something will happen. That is a quest. So, let's build the mobile station. Host and Prime, I'm literally about to bail on you. Building I'm about started. to just leave you here. So let's go ahead and get your... Um, let's give you a mobile space station. That way we can finish that quest. Not something that I normally build, but why not? 20% off space building construction time if you have this. Oh, that's cool. I guess if you know you're going to go really heavy into, like, Golan platforms, that's not a bad call. Because they take freaking forever to build. And we could pick up, um... Ah, oh, man. Nah, it's a terrible idea. Let's not do that. We get the money back up there. I want to get it back up into like 100 grand on standby just in case. Yeah, we're going to go the long way. We're going to hit Fondor on the idea that Fondor hasn't been fully rebuilt yet. So we can like raid the space station. Jumping and in the shadow. hope that this fleet is still at Thy... Yeah, if they're staying at Thyfera, we can backdoor this. Ooh, no, they're not. They've split the fleet. Yeah, one of their brawlers is here. One of their recusances here. Two of their acclimators and seven of their support hut ships. So I wouldn't even mind countering at Thyfera, destroying their support fleet. The rebellion has advanced their tech level. Nah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Though, to be honest, they probably... Only thing they probably did was advance their tech level by... Let's grab a bigger space station here. Um, rebuilding the one that we took out earlier. Remember that one. Hey, stormtroopers. How are we doing? No, you're still training. Okay. You haven't finished any of them. We can get a couple of officers because I know we've lost those recently. Let's get a, another barracks here. We're switching over pretty hard into stormtrooper training. Hey, you're done. Uh, Go and go and... No, just focus on... Yeah, focus on that. Focus on getting our uh, assault groups. Yeah, there's our ground training going on. Wonderful. Wonderful. Jetta, they're robbing you right now. <laughs> are you aware? Are you aware you're being robbed? So are you! Ugh. Grief. I need to train some... Well, I can just do it here, can't I? Yes, I can. There you go. And then we'll deploy those later. Alright, let's get the ships moving. Let's get the scouts going. Plan our invasion of the Hape territories. It does not like scrolling when I'm in this mode. Uh, how are we looking on ground armies? Let's stack you guys up. Everybody gets stacked. The only problem with all of my armies at the moment is their severe lag of ground troops. We gotta let time pass, that's the problem. We do have some units on the deck. Upgrade Get your upgrade. 
Let's pack you up. Upgrade complete. And we'll get a full look. Yeah, that's that's Tactical nothing in the way of stormtroopers. Oh, the Alliance. The Alliance. What do you guys want? It's not the Alliance. It's the Black Sun again. They're moving that brawler fleet up once more. And they can do this. They can take this. Let's see what you get for a random small defense fleet. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get something real good against brawlers. I don't even know what a small defense fleet could get that could stop a fleet of her cousins. Hmm. Wow, that just flashed what they have. It was just this giant stack. Horrifying. Ready for action. Launch fighters and prepare for combat. Reinforcements en route. Ooh, a gladiator's not a bad start. Bombers standing by. You give me enough TIE Engine bombers activated. and I can... Uh, I might be able to do something. I imagine their cousins don't have much in the way of fighter Ties support. Squadron here. Station ready. Upgrade in progress. Yeah, I'll do the upgrades. Orbital command. Hey, just order. run away! <laughs> See, order let's run this front. way. Let's run this way. I Let's send over the Gazants and see if we've got anything worth like maybe capturing Upgrade over here or, or owning. What else did you give me? Imperial victory one or a victory here. one? Combat maneuvers initiated. You know, I'm not complaining. Upgrade complete. If, I, if my choice is like this or dreadnoughts, I will happily take gladiators and victory ones for sure. We're moving the fleet. Yes, sir. All units For the glory head towards of the, the space stations. Complete. Any more reinforcements or are we Awaiting attack? Command. So here's what, what we got. Control A, select everybody. Uh, our two main capital ships are a Gladiator and a Victory One. A handful of fighter squadrons. And a few brutes. And one weirdo. Uh, one assault transport squadron. What? What are awaiting your command? Explain, explain to me. The Gamma class ATR-6 assault transport was developed to carry out uh, opposed boarding operations. Opposed boarding operations. It is large, very sturdy. Also carries enough weaponry to blast itself an opening if needed. So this is like a boarding pod, a boarding shuttle. This makes the ATR useful in regular combat scenarios against ships larger than themselves, but they are relatively vulnerable to smaller strike craft. Their ability is flares, fire flares that interfere with enemy missiles. All, combat personnel All units, head here. There is something here. capturable. It's a repair bay. No, it's a trade yes, station. Sir. Womp womp. <laughs> I got real excited about the combat potential there, and then it ended up being... Hmm. Enemies brawler, so messing up their incoming missiles won't really help us. I do love the idea that my space station's just left. Admiral, I swear, there was supposed to be a space station here. No contact yet. At your command, what if we just put this in the nebula? All right, well, we made a little buddy. Receiving message. Oh, Decoding transmission. interesting. The space station can only do tier one upgrades. Huh. There is an opportunity here to take out Boba Fett. Ah! They all popped up on screen at once. Why? I don't think I can do much to this, honestly. Yeah, just engage. They're gonna out. They're gonna outpace you, anyways. All combat personnel standing well, by. it was it was fun while it lasted. They're here. We got something going on here. One thing they don't have is I don't see a lot of fighters yet. They do have the one carrier. We may actually be able to kill that carrier. Go after the engines on the carrier. Actually, we might be able to take out the shields. Where's your shield generator? You don't have a external shield generator. Okay. 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 And the actual carrier is surrounded by <sighs> acclimators. The usurper, that's a good name for an acclimator. Take down their shields. Yeah, let's get his engines. Targeting primary engines. You may fire when ready. Here. 
Why engines? We can't get away. So we have a much better chance at annihilating them. I've got a lock. Yes, sir. Go for the hull damage. Order Everybody else who's got turbo lasers, come about. They don't stand come about chance. and engage. Roger. Get your weird old fighters over here. We got their engines, literally pop them off. They're floating around right there. Haha, -ha, now you're flying half a ship. Take that. I'm here to cause you trouble. For when the real fleet arrives, I'd love to have a few less brawlers to deal with. Wow, it is it is all about focusing on that one ship. Our poor artillery vessel is being blown to pieces. Uh, I don't, yeah, he did not get the next missiles out. I'm ordering the space station to open fire. You are clear to engage. All fighters, fire at this ship. If your brutes are still around, go after Boba Fett, but I don't think you're gonna be able to go and try and tank it. Gladiator? To see this from the captain's perspective, let's go. Now that would be a cool addition to Empire War II. So we always had the cinematic camera, right? But wouldn't it be cool if a few of the capital ships, like, they rendered out just the bridge so we could get the cinematic shot from, like, the commander standing on the bridge? Probably, probably too much to ask, but it'd be cool. I love the cinematic stuff. All right, we're not gonna be able to go that deep. There is zero chance we're gonna be able to kill that. Um, definitely focus on his engines. You fighters, engage those fighters. New bomber squadron, come on in and do damage to the hull. Let's see if we can pop it. Change my mind, go after the engines because he may just run. Gladiator is down. It's up to you, TIE Bombers. I believe in you. I mean, a little bit. Not really, not, not that much. There is a... <laughs> the space station hidden in the trees. Hidden in the leaves. Uh, what do you have for weapons, Space Station? Not much, right? Flat cannons and heavy laser... <laughs> heavy laser cannons, ooh boy. Ready for command, sir. <laughs> Still got a couple bombers left. His engines, I've been shot. TIE Squadron. Squadron, get all those glow shapes. Somebody's dropping, who, who do they have dropping turrets? Did their acclimators drop turret? Shows how little I played the black side on their latest uh, iteration. Ooh, that's a cool shot. With the ship in the nebula, the station. I like that. I like that. It'd be neat if we could like custom build these space stations out, you know? Like there was an upgrade to weaponize them, turn them into something along like a Golan platform style. All right, all hands retreat. Reinforcements are on the way. You don't have to die for this. I say to the half-dead space station and no other starships in the area. I don't think there's anything to retreat. Fall back, fall back. I love the idea that Shed, by the way, is just doing his own thing in the north. All this down here, he's just watching. He's He has no hand in it. Uh, our forces are on the way, but they're gonna take a minute. This is why I didn't want to go all the way around. Our probe droid should be arriving at Bestine shortly, not to be confused with the city on Tatooine. Shock trooper squad ready. One of my shock troopers is finally completed. Hey, I'm guessing it's at Caridia. Can you, is there anything we can do to speed up your ability to train ground forces? Space tech level advanced, new options Um, yeah, I can get you another Upgrade barracks. Complete. I imagine Agent that Agent would go. increase Commission. speed, right? I'll try it. We'll try it, but it also slow them down temporarily. You're getting your barracks. Not done yet. Our fleet is over Typhon. I'll just send you whatever I can. Complete. Captain. If I can, if I can, please? Please? Gabe, thank you. <laughs> it doesn't like it. It doesn't like it one bit. Uh, and this is where expensive units become kind of a pain in the backside. A severe pain. Oh, I can still pick up that advanced research. Change the eras. I'm missing something. Ah, small craft. I don't have all the research yet. We need 55 seconds left. Uh, what's the deal? You were already invading? You did not replenish your units. Oh. 
you don't need to replenish your units to take this world. The only thing we have is a single group of stormtroopers. Oh, this hurts. I'm just auto resolving it. Oh. Dallas destroyed. Painful. That amount of money. That amount of resources. The fleet is on the way, crawling towards them. Oh, you're about to get tectured, and I'm all here for it. One of our gunships have been built. Sending it over. To. I almost said Antilles. Not Antilles. To, um. Hoff. Hoff guy. Oh man, I'm gonna hear about that in the comments. What's his name? Veers! Veers needs infantry. Who knew? Oh, thank goodness, we're done. All right, you're training. You can't train. Let's just pause and get all of our, our new barracks. Because last episode, we invested training heavily. Uh, you know what? Just give me canceled. regs. Regular stormtroopers. I need so many. Vehicle and anti-infantry work, because they are hitting us. Did we not, um... Yep. Upgrade under construction. Recruiting troops. You? Give me some fixing suppression soldiers. units. Suppression units are really good. You upgrade. Under construction. Jaeger Miner, what's your deal? You money? No, you are a space station production facility. Mmm. Building under construction. Building under construction. Let's get you some upgrades. Yeah. Let's get you some upgrades. Well, you're set up to build advanced um, cruisers really fast, actually. So I, I'm okay with giving you a fighter, a fighter squadron. So if you can build cruisers really fast. Oh man, I'm, I just ate all my money. Those stormtrooper barracks are no joke expensive. You've got more money coming in. Taurus has actually got a little bit of a fleet above it. We've moved our our spy over there. <gasps> okay, fine. Let's do it. The time for the fight. I hope I didn't uh, over overvalue my tectors. It's old tech. This fleet could use more victory twos. Oh, and we didn't set a pathfinder either. I just sent him right in. You got both your tectors though, right? You've got one of your tectors. Choose your reinforcements. Okay. That could be bad. You've also got the strike fast. Ooh, good name. Good name for a Venator, the strike fast. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, cool. Very neat. Um, there's nothing for them to hold. We'll tie send a group here. of tie. Actually, give me all the tie interceptors. We have two fighter wings. Squad reporting. Instructions received. We don't even have full wings. Squadrons, right? We have like two squadrons and not a wing. Let's move you out. Moving you on. All right, let's Terror move up destroy. here. Star Destroyer. Tector, ah oh, man, our, our tank is really limited. We'll move the Dreadnoughts. A lot of fighter capability, though. It might be worthwhile to go ham with fighters. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, Gazantes move up. Not gonna be too worried about falling back. If we do it, we do it. We, we went a little ham with our starfighter capability, so. We'll move our Carex up as well. You're just gonna die, though. If I move those Carex up, they're just gonna get obliterated. What's going on over here? Looks like a hostile trade station and a capturable trade station. Well, I like free money, so let's take that. Let's call dibs. Awaiting orders. Uh, or move ready. up you as well. Ready. Officer can come back. What's your bonus? Please tell me it's 10% for frigates. That's not bad for us, actually. We've got a few frigates in the fleet. Uh, guys, guys, please. There's some Clone Wars era bull crap going on behind us. Take out those V-wings. Something we don't see uh, a lot is the E-2A Starfighter. Makes sense, they were fairly rare, right? The Jedi really liked them because they were super maneuverable, but normal pilots, unless you were like incredibly good, it had a really great reaction time. Oh, they gave me free starships for that. 
Um, you, you just kill yourself in an E2A. But the cool thing about the E2A yes, is sir. how small it is. It is so tiny. There they are. Them. Uh, and in uh, Star Wars FFG, for its stat book, it's so small. Yes, um, they use the silhouette to figure out how many ships you can have in a starship, like how much their hangar space could take. So you could pack those suckers in there. Because they're even smaller than TIE Fighters. Like, considerably smaller than TIE Fighters. Uh, they're up there. I think they're still two, which is really rare. The only other ship that I can think of that is still two is the Snowspeeder. Those are tiny as well. I always thought that's why the Rebels used them. Uh, cheap as chips and super tiny. And they were really hard to hit. All right, I'm going to give it a tank move order. Uh, actually, no, I'm not. We're going to Doomstack on the anti-Starfighter weapon systems. Um, I, I normally don't do the let's just rush in and try to kill stuff. When it comes with Starfighters, I like to wait until the battle is engaged and everybody's supporting. But at this point, Brew, you should be doing pretty good damage to this, but you don't seem to be doing jack. You are a frigate, right? No, you're not. No, you're Corvette. You're anti-Corvette. Switch targets. We can kill this, though. And that'll take out some of their anti-fighter work. Everybody, I know, I know I'm doom stacking you on this. And for the Gazantes, I'm really sorry. You are getting obliterated, but I wanted to replace some of anyways. Let's move you around so you can support. Let's overload the guns on the Tector, and let's focus our fire on the ships that are actually getting close enough to be a problem. Um, they actually held up. Oh, they actually held up to fight those fighters. All right, those Gazantes are dead, by the way. Um, yes, give them the good news. Missiles in every direction. We're gonna kill the trickle-in targets. All right, all forces now switch target to the next carrier. Shut down ship. I want you on this, so you're going to come around. Firing at this, come aboot. We should be able to kill this pretty quickly. I want you, brace for impact. Don't let him get away. The venerable dreadnought. Not to be confused with the 40k variant. Oh, guys, what are you doing? I mean, I love your enthusiasm. You need to run. You need to turn. Get your guns on this. All right, that carrier is dead, though. Reporting in. Overload your gun, he's close enough. Get his engines or he will try to split. We can win this. I need you alive. I need you alive because as those dreadnoughts, those dreadnoughts, as those cousins get closer, I want you to shut them down. But you don't do me any good if you're dead. And he is, man, we are alpha striking hard right now. All right, fighters, continue to do whatever you want. I'm actually okay with that because I need you to deal with the enemy star fighters that are close. Uh, Arcs, what you doing? Why are you in the middle of the enemy formation? Man, they went deep. Just like my carrots went deep. Oh, my! that's my commander. What are you doing? Get out of there. I pulled you back earlier. He wasn't having it though. He wanted to be in that fight. Pop your laser. Put your point defense laser online. As soon as that ship is dead, we switch targets to the carrier. Fire and engage this. Yes. Strike cruiser survived. We are putting an end to this fleet. This hull is almost down. Engage your weapon system, but I want you to fire at the guy behind you. Yes. Get the guy from our back line out of here. And by that, I mean just shut down his damage capability. With your eye on weapons. I think we're going to lose our poor strike cruiser. Oh, brawler fleet do much damage. Much wow. Don't like. Pick off your weapon systems. All right. You're firing at this. How we doing? About to lose that carrier, but we cooked out another brawler. Their damage is going down. Uh, you should be in range of the Tector's extra weapon systems. I'm gonna have you fire that way. Except for you, you're doing great. Keep him shut down. You're keeping that damage off of our butt. Okay, we got a problem. Uh, we have lost the fighter battle substantially. Wait, what is your ability? Power to main batteries, yeah, we're good there. All right, good job. I'm gonna need to switch targets soon. Hey, Ion, uh, that. Take a chill out. Oh, he got close. He's he's right over all of the turbos. Let's go. Oh man. Directly above the ISD, which is moving forward. Isn't great for us. Okay, gonna doom stack the fleet again. Maybe a mistake. I'm trying to take out their anti-fighter work to see if we maybe launch a few more fighters from whatever we've got remaining. We're probably gonna have to run due to fighter work. Yeah, 
Yeah, the engine's still up. The engines are still up. All right, we're falling back. I hate to do it, but I don't want to lose that Venator. I mean, Tector. Yeah, no, it's the Venator, because I can't rebuild them. We are making the jump to hyperspace. And even if we win this now, I think Boba Fett and the rest of those fighters would be able to chew us to pieces. So let's get out of there. Well, that would have been a victory against the enemy capital ships. Uh, Yeah, the initial fighter rush was not worth it. Yeah, that was not the right call. Hmm. All right. Well, replacement ships can be ordered, and we'll get them some gladiators. Uh, maybe some Ton Falks. That would be pretty nice. Who, who's uh, got construction like that in the area? Doomstack you some victory ones with TIE Fighters. Oh, you've got Raiders. With that, there we go. Now we've got Raider access. What did you, what gave you Raider access? Was it the Starfighter production? Yeah. Victories with TIE Interceptors. Mm -hmm. Yes. In this is what you do now, Rendil. You do one thing. You build, or two things. You build me drop ships, assault ships for ground battles, and you build me victories with TIE Fighters in the background. Oh, you can build all the weird stuff too. Hey, let's switch over to that and look at it. So we can get uh, no star wings. Oh, there they are. I'm just not used to that color. I'm fairly certain that's the icon from like X-Wing versus TIE Fighter maybe? Or Star Wars Rebellion? It's uh, So I'm not used to the black and red. Normally we see the more, the more modern iterations. They're like, they have the gray hull of the, uh, with, the, with the missile batteries like underneath. Oh uh, yeah, and then the weird ties. Not really worried about the weird ties. Do want some star wings though. Imperial Global Space Tech Small Craft 3 is what you're required to have those. Which we should have, right? We're just we're just broke. Yeah, we're just broke. Alright, unpause. Construction. Unpause. Complete. We'll send you reinforcements as soon as we can. Uh we're still just waiting on stormtroopers. So we can move up and take Typhon. I'm gonna move the ground army up. Moving into position. Is anybody trained me some infantry yet? Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. I'm going to guess that once one Structure of our complete. barracks is finishing. Not that we can afford to train anybody yet. I need to get some more scout platoons as well. System lost. System lost? The ring. Oh, one of the. One of the. Um. Upgrade yeah, complete. one of these things. If you don't build the space station, they just take it. I think we just ran through that to head south. Or head through, most likely. That means we could be attacked at Jakku. They left by Farah. We're moving back. They left by Farah. Hey, do we get it? Well done. This will surely help the Empire. You have been given a single ship. Why don't we bring our... Uh, Binasana. Let's do that. Let's bring him over. Hey, where are you at, buddy? That's Thanes. Where's, um... Star Destroyer reporting in. There he is. You are on Coruscant currently? Which I did not zoom in on. Oh, man. It is so displeased with my... With what's going on right now. All right. Question for chat. If Empire War like, was gonna get a remaster, would you be happy with, like, say, say they couldn't make a sequel, um, they didn't have the time, but they were greenlit to do a remaster, would you be down for that? Like, feeling that lag, I'd be okay with that. If they could make it, like, properly 64-bit, uh, open up the modding capability, right? Just, just bring up the graphical fidelity and have a better, a stronger engine for the modders to go ham for a creative platform. Probably, I, I would rather have a sequel, yes, but mm, you'd be competing against every mod that's had like a decade to, to be made. Where are we going with you? Uh, we need to bring you to, oh, it was Bill Bringy, yeah. Break on through to the other side. Bill Bringy, or no, it was Ord Montel, excuse me. Departure vector set. Departure vector set. Lambda shuttle is on the way. Please hold. Our forces on Gorman should join up with our ground, our air forces. 
if I could click them. Wow, you got nothing. Still gonna agree with you, though. Another shock trooper's done. The Hafe invasion builds up slowly. <sighs> Slow, uh, the, the slowest. Oh, hey, our interdictor, by the way, is done. I'm gonna move you into the fleet. You're not gonna be good in a, in a brawler fight, but I am so sick of that royal dragon running from me. I'm sending you over there. That's our big interdictor too, that's the good one. Where are them new troops? And Axis has trained the first unit. Construction complete. Head on over. This is what everyone is doing. Enlisting. Squad reporting. Recruiting. Head on over. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. One of the reasons stuff is building so slow as well is the fact that we're gonna invest in more barracks. Is the fact that we're the game is running slower. Ground tech! Hey! Alright, alright. So pause so we can click through a little bit faster. Uh what do we got? Well, we have uh finally. Finally. 2M Repulsor Tanks. The 2M Repulsor Tank is a major advancement in the Saber series, built out of an entirely new hull of sturdier material and modern systems. The 2M purely focuses on combating heavy armor, replacing the dual laser cannons with a single high caliber laser cannon turret and manual control blaster cannon with less energy intensive remote control repeater. Uh, basically, it's anti-tank work. Uh, we've also got the next version of the ATMA, this one has another weapon system on it, so it isn't completely useless against, well, other stuff. Let's pick up, and this is the missile variant, right? Particle cannon and missile launcher. Unit yeah, there'll be a couple of uh, anti-tank. That'll be good against the Rebellion, because they keep showing up with, um, with their big heavy stuff. Though they haven't shown up with anything tracked yet. How much you want to bet that was that last research? And I'm gonna start seeing like T4B, uh, what's the variant with the tracks? monstrosities which you know I don't really need in my life Training troops. I'm gonna get some medics because Quell Lord and Antar are right here now do I want to try this invasion with the hapes with what I've got now what's the force look like you've got two probably one on the way still and you've got some assault ships that I've been funneling missing. over. You are the strongest ground army that I have. Uh, four of the Sabes, Saber tanks. Reporting. Infantry is looking better, but not fantastic. We do have intel on the Habes. Upgrade. They've got turbo Upgrade. lasers. They've got a oh, man. ATPT ready, sir. Archon tanks. Awaiting your orders. A pan base plus turbo lasers plus that plus they've got the simple barracks, which is going to give them security troops. Uh, AT, AT and ready. their capital building, which gives them a ton of garrison. Yeah, no, we're not ready for this yet. We need a few more infantry. Capital building gives them a bunch of units. Haypan guard Upgrade. ionizers Upgrade. and four Haypan guard in general on top of their normal stuff. What's the base layout look like? Hmm, right in the middle. Really? What would our be? Hang on, let me pause this. What would our drop zone be? I'd imagine here. Wait, if this is our drop zone, I could just like, even if this is our drop zone, I could just roll through the tree line with our with our heavy infantry, with our drop ships and drop on their power generation and destroy it. We could also set up artillery on the hill, probably hit their main spawn. Uh, do we have, do we have scouts? We don't have scouts. We do have AT-ATs. So I'm thinking f uh, how far we can see our field of view. We've only got one proper piece of artillery. Though that should be enough to kill it. Hmm. Two pieces of artillery would do it a lot faster though. That could be really funny. <laughs> like pop in and destroy their capital world. We still have to take Typhon as well, which we can't see anything. I should send a probe over there. All right. 
let's send a probe over. No, it won't matter. We can't see them. We just have to invade. Yeah, we just can't see it. They have invisible. Yeah, can't be detected. So we don't know what we're getting into here. We can also just blockade it and move on. Ah, this is going to make us some bank too. All right, let me know because we're already 48 minutes for the episode. Let me know what we should do here. What do you guys think? I could walk troops through, like through here maybe, but we could drop drop ships and just go whoop and hop drop like right back here with rockets. We should have enough of them by now. We've got two squads. Bring in a couple suppression teams as well. Oh man. Three if you count the regular stormtroopers. I love that idea. That one's pretty good. Or or we do artillery. We stay out of the turbo laser range. Uh, maybe scout it with AT-AT, -AT, like just that farther view distance, and shell the base. Meaning they can't bring their full their full spawn. Yeah. All right. I look forward to reading your tactical advice. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye, everybody.